Well, here he is, America's newest letterman, beating 285 other spellers to win it all. Evan Dorney, the 13-year-old king of the words. He had no problem taking the crown as America's spelling bee champ. Take a look. Seraphine. S-E-R-R-E-F-I-N-E. -R -R -E -E. Seraphine. You are correct. You're the champion. There he is, his proud mom and dad looking on as well. And Evan joins us this morning. He is from Danville, California. He joins us from Washington on the morning after. Evan, thanks for being with us. You're welcome. Did you say my name wrong? My name is Evan O'Dorney. Evan O'Dorney, I am sorry if I said it wrong. <laughs> now, you are quite particular and for a good reason because uh, you had to know your stuff yesterday. What did it feel like when you? heard the word and you knew that you knew how to spell it? Um, I saw that I was going to win and I just saw that uh, because I had been studying really hard for two years, it just seemed like a natural conclusion. Were you surprised that you won? Not really. You didn't look surprised that you won either. You were, uh, you were quite confident. Tell us, what do you do to train for a spelling bee? Well, we've gone through the dictionary and written down any of the words that we think I might have trouble with. And so, um, and during the phase of the dictionary, we don't attempt any memorization. And then, um, uh, once we've gotten through the dictionary, uh, we started to use different coloring systems to help me remember the words and indicate which words were still giving me trouble. Right, so you really have it well mapped out. And when you say we, you're speaking about your mother, right? You're homeschooled. Yeah. What is that like? Do you like uh, getting homeschooled or would you rather go to school, just a public school with some other kids? No, I like being homeschooled. What did your mom say when you finally won? Oh, <laughs> I don't know what my mom said. You better ask my mom if you want the answer to that question. All right, let me ask your mom. For, <laughs> you're making this tough for me today, Evan. Well, here's one thing I hope I'm right about. You like to eat, uh, apparently, a Subway tuna fish sub before every competition. You didn't get uh, to do that yesterday? We... What did you just say? I said you didn't get to do that yesterday. No. Why not? I'm not sure. We just. Well, they had the. They had a special dinner before the bee. I got you. So you didn't get a chance to eat your brain food. Can I ask you about whether or not you can spell this word that I'm about to give you right now? Are you ready for it? Yeah. Scombra day. It's a noun, marine food fishes, like mackerels, perhaps some of the things that are in a tuna sub. Can you spell it for me? Well, let me make sure I'm saying it right. Stomberday? Scomberday. Scomberday. Yes. So it's plural? Yes. Scomberday. It's French? <laughs> I don't know that part. It's the, basically, it's a family of fishes that tuna is a part of. Scomber day? That's right. Unless I'm saying it wrong, like your last name. <laughs> I hope not. Scomber day. You want to just give it a try? Yeah, if you're not saying it right, I'll, I'll probably not spell it right. Wait a minute, I need, but I can't spell it without the language. Is it Latin? <laughs> They're telling me it's Latin. <laughs> okay. S-C-O-M-B-E-R-D-A-E. -E. You got it right! There it is! <laughs> yes or no? <laughs> oh, you added an extra E. I'm sorry, but you know what? That was pretty darn good. And you did won you the say Scombra Day or Scombra Day? Scombra Day. Scombra Day? Yes. You want to try one more time? 
Are you saying it's S-C-O-M-B-R-I-D-A-E? Ding, ding, ding. That's it. <laughs> you got it. So not only did you win the yeah. most important yeah. one, the one that gave you the cash, you won the Little American Morning one as well. But really, It's I've... because I couldn't hear you. I thought you were saying Scombo Day. That's I why got I put you. the E. Right. <laughs> I, I needed to pronounce it better. But you know what? You're a champ, and congratulations. Hope you're enjoying the victory lap, Evan. Oh, Dorney. I'll get it right from now on. See you later.